Hello there and welcome back to the channel. The next few videos are going to be about my hometown that I grew up in in Scotland called Turriff or also known as Tara. Uh, I've got quite a lot of footage so I'm going to split it across three videos probably and yeah I've got more footage than what I can deal with. So I hope you enjoy basically just a wee walkthrough of my town back home. And welcome! This is my mum and dad's living room in Turriff, and it is actually where I was born. This is the very room I entered the world on this sofa I'm sitting on. And my brother Kevin was here watching Thomas the Tank Engine while all that was going on. Which must have been pretty traumatic as a toddler, but <laughs> just don't play that Thomas the Tank Engine theme tune around him or he gets triggered. <laughs> These are the newspaper articles that came out at the time. Not even a week old and I was on all the papers. Born to be a star. Oh baby! Craty King John turns midwife for new son. A turf of Craty instructor's new addition has proved a chip off the old block for baby Stuart Farley made his debut 10 days earlier than planned with the help of dad. Surprise mum Rosie says she is delighted with her husband's midwifery skills. Karate dad delivers baby, chop chop. Karate instructor John Farley knew all the right moves when wife Rosemary went into labour with her second child. John spring into action with their three-year-old Kevin watching on gobsmacked, <laughs> delivering a bouncing seven-pound eight Oz boy. Now mother and baby Stuart are strong and healthy at the maternity wing in Banff Chalmers Hospital with proud dad John making daily visits to see his latest loved one. It was just amazing, said John. It was a wonderful experience, one I will never forget. Rosemary went into labour 10 days early at their house on Forgling Crescent at 11.30pm on Thursday. With little Kevin by his side, John, 31, grabbed some towels and headed for the bedroom to help his wife. The labour lasted two hours with baby Stuart emerging into the world at 1.25am on Friday morning. When the head popped out, it was just incredible, said John. Kevin was engrossed. I don't know which one of us was more amazed by the sight. I just sort of eased the head out and there he was, a little boy. The whole thing was quite an experience. I'm trained in first aid, but never thought I would have to do something like this. I am. Thanks, Dad. Very appreciative. <laughs> and Mum, of course. It's actually a nice day outside today, it's the first blue sky we've had all week. So I think I'm going to give you a wee tour of my hometown, Turriff, which is the wee northeast village, a retirement village I call it. It's very quiet, very quaint, but let's go for a walk and I'll show you around. Hi, hi, how are you? Good, good. Hi, hi.
This here used to be our old primary school, Market Hill. Now it's just uh, a wasteland by the looks of it. It's been like this for a few years. Over there with that hill is where we used to go sledging in the winter with the snow. Everything feels so much smaller now. And this is the tar lane I used to call it. It's pretty close to walk from mum and dad's house down the street. And obviously it was great for me going to school because I just had to walk one minute and I was already there. Could go home for lunch, etc. Hi, hi, how are you? Good to see blue skies again. It's been grey the whole week. Been lashing the rain. What a waste of land. Hey, hey. Had many a parties in that top flat there. Don't know if it's good or bad memories. <laughs> they used to go on all sorts of night hours over the weekend. I think there's three churches in Turriff, I remember. All the buildings are made out of this red sandstone most of the town. Seems to be the most used brick around here.
có thể Just entering the high street around this corner. That's where the sh shops are. Hi, hi. Yeah. Got your Tesco, it's the main supermarket. And you've got another supermarket, the Kopi, which we'll have a look by as well. A lot of these shops have closed down now, different from when I was last here. Get some nice stovies and macaroni in there, I'll maybe grab some after I've did the wee tour. Getting a bit peckish. My friend Kim's folks own that hotel. You get a lovely meal in there. So if you're ever passing by, highly recommend. This is a famous Turaku, but I can't remember the facts about it. I'm gonna have to Google that. Milano's where we used to get all our pizzas, kebabs, delicious. Hey. It's 
celebrations of Tarif is probably it's a department store, it's probably the most popular. A lot of people passing through will come here and have a look. They do all sorts, furniture, ornaments, decor. And they also have a cafe, it does really nice pancakes so a lot of people try come for it. Peter's is your rival kebab shop to Milano's. Both are really good, really busy. And that is nearly us did a lap of the high street. This is new since I was last here, kitchens and bathrooms. And there's also another Chinese next door to the old Chinese. It must be hard on their business. Right, where am I going? Go back this way. It's a new tattoo place as well that wasn't there, this wasn't here. I have been away for nearly six years now, so no surprise. for a wee look in celebrations I suppose show you what kind of stuff they have Plenty of parking out the back if you ever do visit. Here is the Kopi, the other second supermarket. A lot more expensive than Tesco though. And down here, we have the Moonlight Tandoori Indian, which is award winning. And Sunday night we're gonna go there because I have a buffet every Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to that. No Indian I've tried in New Zealand so far beats this one.
Gonna take you down the den, which is like the main hub of Tariff where a lot of people go and walk their dogs. And once a year in August they have the biggest, I think, agricultural show in Scotland, or at least one of them. So it's the busiest time of the year in Tariff where everyone makes the effort to go out. They have a big beer garden, and everyone just gets on it. It was on when me and Wes were here last year, but unfortunately we never made it. over there, the Crown Inn, way in the distance, a good pint in there. Hi, how's it going?
Đây. Back of myself here, I'm going to show you the love hut to where we also used to drink as underage teenagers. But yeah, I should have went back the other way. Oops.
Says there for gay sex, call 07985739260. I hope that's not one of my old numbers. Don't think so. I wasn't a little hoe. So, this is the glamorous love hut where we used to drink quite a lot as underage teenagers. Again, a lot smaller than I remember. But it's funny reading some of the stuff on the walls. There's from like the year 2006. Yeah, we spent many a weekends here with a, a two litre bottle of Strongbow and some Mickey Fins. This used to be the drinking spot. Only occasionally would the police come and catch us and you'd have to pour everything out. Or sometimes you got a nice police officer who let you keep them. Very rarely though. It's funny being back here. It's called the Love Hut because I think it's where people used to come for some hanky-panky as well. Some people used to be down at the shop drinking. And then if anyone fancied a quick <laughs> up to come here, usually behind it, I think. There's a wee track behind it. I'm sure I know many people who's been up behind there. <laughs> so where next? I am going to take you through the den and through the caravan park, basically to the bottom of Turriff where you enter. So let's go. It's a beautiful day today. It's actually quite warm, this jumper on. Might have to take it off soon. Unusual for Turriff to be mildly warm this time of year. I've gotten so unfit since I've been back home. Jeez, I was doing really well before I left New Zealand. But yeah, a month and a half barely done anything. Even this walk's tiring me out. <laughs> Unfit. So I have to get straight back into the gym when I get back. Burn off some of these pounds.
call it a day for now guys, but we'll continue this video on Wednesday. So see you then. Ciao, ciao.